Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we have two very unlikely competitors in front of us, the Zenfone 2 Laser and the iPhone 6. No, I'm not trying to compare between them feature by feature. However, I'll try to see that uh, whether on under 10,000 Android device, how far it can go while competing against iPhone 6, which could be one of the most popular phone in the world. So let's check out first of all what strikes me here immediately is that i um, personally love large screen devices since the time the note 1 came i absolutely started loving the large screen because then that phone can also act as a reading device for me or a movie viewing device for me when you have very tiny screens like four uh, four inch 4.5 inch screen those now the movie viewing experience is still okay but reading you have to zoom in everything whether you're reading a browser or reading on a browser or you're reading a book and you know forget about reading a comics or magazine so that way generally a 5.5 screen is more favorable to me than a 4.7 inch screen now the Zenfone 2 laser obviously has a 5.5 inch screen the iPhone 6 has a 4.7 inch screen however for many people and even I accept that a 4.7 inch screen is much more manageable than this one if you have let's say tight pockets or you if you want more mobility then possibly this form factor is better but even then I like the ergonomics of the Zenfone 2 laser here you see the iPhone 6 is better built it's all metal this one is has plastic here but it kind of always been very slippery for me I've been using this phone for one year now uh, it's always been slightly slippery and I had to use a back cover here a silicon back cover so that it does not slip off my hand that easily although it's small and uh, you know small enough to fit in my hands however this one despite of being such a large screen has this very nice rubber coating on the back and that never lets the phone slip from my hand you can also this uh, you know boat shaped back kind of rest on my hands easier than the iPhone see the iPhone seeing is flat back so you can see the gap um, the gap there with the iPhone 6 so it does not have it does not take many surface area of my hand so that's where that slippiness comes but this one does it almost touches my hand completely so uh, ergonomically and screen wise I like my Zenfone 2 laser better than the iPhone 6. Now talking about the resolution, there is not much difference. Uh, this guy has an HD resolution. This guy has slightly over uh, HD resolution, 1366 uh, by 768 pixels, something like that. So on a closer look, you will see that the iPhone 6 is displays definitely crisper, mainly because of that uh, huge advantage in PPI. So that's one thing, but this one then HD resolution on a 5.5 inch screen might save you some battery life now we're going to talk about the battery life later so that's about the screen and the ergonomics in general number two comparison and this is purely specs based i understand is that this guy is powered by a more powerful chipset than this guy uh, this one's powered by a snapdragon 410 it has a 1.2 gigahertz octa core cpu two quad core basically and this one has only a 1.4 gigahertz dual core a8 processor this one has 1 gb of ram this one has 2 gb of ram but i'm not gonna um, compare them head on head i find that the power on both of them are almost the same uh, because the iPhone really, um, you know, can optimize the software according to the hardware. So, uh, despite of 1 GB RAM and a very, um, you know, less powerful dual core processor, this guy performs pretty well. What I like about the Zenfone 2 Laser is that it has a micro SD card support. Now, that's always been crucial for me. You know, I use a lot of uh, services like, let's say, um, RDO, that's a music streaming services and uh, i have um, amazon prime as well i have lots and lots of um, reading apps and this and so i need lots of storage space and in audio i download songs as 320 kbps those take fair amount of space this guy uh, this particular model has a 16 gb internal storage does not support micro sd card and out of 16 gb you only get about 
uh, you know between 9 to 10 GB free this one also has 16 GB but it supports micro SD card so I can put a micro SD card and I can have all my tutorial videos all my songs saved in there that's a critical uh, advantage of the Zenfone to laser over the iPhone 6 and many will agree that you can get a 64 GB of this one but then again you're shelling out about 8k more on the iPhone 6 and that's already um, you know going above the already premium price tag of this I think is this one is selling for about 48,000 right now but on launch uh, this one was close to 54,000 and this one um, slightly over 10,000 anyway so that's a critical advantage of the Zenfone 2 laser there's not much to compare about the operating system on both because uh, well they are uh, different and they have their own pros and cons this guy runs on Android 5.x this guy runs on iOS 8.0 and now it got iOS 9 it uh, this has not got the Android 6.0 marshmallow yet and we don't have any ETA on whether it will um, receive it if at all but the advantage on the iOS is that you have lots and lots of app you have significantly more number of apps uh, in the app store on iOS than on the Android also in iOS generally the transaction are smoother the animations are smoother than on the Android mainly because Android is an open source um, project of Google open source not not the entire OS is open source but you can build your skin on top of that and because Android is given to many manufacturer um, you know a particular manufacturer a hardware manufacturer specifically phone manufacturer has to adjust the hardware to their software and they might not get enough uh, quality time to test um, those like the iPhones do however here the user interface and everything are very smooth enough the Zen UI is absolutely smooth light and does not lag at all so I didn't have any problem with this one um, the good thing on Android is which counters the more app presence of the um, iPhone is that you get lots of free product for everything that you need you at least uh, you have much more than one free apps here and also those popular apps which are not free you can actually uh, more often than not get a trial version on Android but not that's not the case with the iOS so that's also something that's really really good for you know geeks like me who wants to try out uh, many different apps on iOS even to try out I have to pay here I do not necessarily have to pay and I'm not talking about piracy I'm talking about um, the premium apps having trial uh, apps as well so coming to one of the main features in any phone these days the camera and there the Zenfone 2 laser actually trumps the iPhone 6 surprisingly uh, not necessarily in the rear camera however let's check out the specification this one has an 8 MP camera this one has a 13 MP camera so straight away you have 5 megapixel difference and then here it has a very tiny 1.2 MP camera this one has a 5 MP camera so that's straight away as far as the front camera is concerned this guy is much better brighter takes in more light than the one on the iPhone 6 now talking about the rear camera you see the iPhone 6 has uh, dual LED flash this one also has dual LED flash but uh, the Zenfone 2 laser has laser autofocus system and thus the uh, name laser the iPhone 6 to counter that has focus pixels where it has some of the um, you know focus points or some of the focus um, sensor points for example on the photo sensor so along with your uh, pixels you also get some autofocus points what it, what that does is that that gives you faster focus on this one and the laser autofocus system gives you faster focus on the Zenfone 2 laser but while in field I particularly experienced that um, you know both are almost the same might be in movie mode the iPhone 6 is slightly smoother in transitioning the focus but when it comes to low light the Zenfone 2's laser autofocus system enhances the autofocus better than the one on the iPhone 6 iPhone 6 still has to see through the lens this one 
uh, the lens can take the cue from the auto, uh, laser autofocus system which works great in low light so under low light the autofocus system on the Zenfone 2 laser is better than the one on the iPhone 6 now talking about the uh, photo and video quality uh, front, as far as the front camera is concerned the iPhone 2 laser definitely wins over the iPhone 6 I told you that before as far as the back camera is concerned um, on the enough light both are almost the same I would say that the iPhone 6 renders the colors uh, more naturally than the one on the Zenfone but the Zenfone one gives punches to the colors now that is subjective whether you like slightly punchier color or you like uh, more natural color many people like natural color but many people uh, you know do not want to edit the pictures later most of the phone camera users actually um, upload their photos to social media sites so at times they you know generally do not want to edit and just click and upload to the social media sites so for those things i think punchier color would help because even on the natural color at times you would like to increase the contrast or the saturation and those kind of things but those people uh, who love natural colors and i'm probably one of those the iphone 6s camera gives you slightly more natural color as far as low light is concerned because it has slightly more pixels the details on the pixels are slightly more on the Zenfone 2 laser than on the iPhone 6 under low light the Zenfone 2 laser rear camera performs really good and slightly better than the one on the iPhone 6 so overall uh, if you love selfie definitely the Zenfone 2 laser but if you love uh, the rear camera I, I, I told you the pros and cons of both the cameras so you can uh, check that out Next thing again one of the most critical thing in any phones is the battery life This one has a 3000 mAh battery life the laser and this one only has an 1810 mAh battery life So on theory this one should have much less battery life, but actually that's not the case the Zenfone 2 laser Has more battery life last longer than the iPhone 6, but I think only about an hour or so uh, that still is a very significant time you have an HD resolution on a 5.5 inch screen which actually helps uh, increasing the battery life a great deal um, this one mainly because of the very small capacity battery although, although, although the optimization is great here it still lasts longer than uh, you know we would have thought but still the Zenfone 2 laser lasts about an hour longer last but not least guys coming to the mother of all comparison the price and then there almost no comparison and that's what you got to do uh, at least uh, for people like us the indians price plays a major role and possibly that's the deal breaker or deal maker for any phone we might want to give a slight more or slight less on a phone but uh, looking at the price of this this one the 16 gb um version was launched at just under 54,000 this one was launched at I think about just over uh, you know 10,000 the MRP of this one is 56,000 the MRP of this one is 11,500 right now you'll get the iPhone 6 for about 45 between 45 to 50,000 this one you'll get for about nine and a half thousand see the difference is more than one it's uh, more than yeah more than one fourth of the price of the iPhone the Zenfone 2 laser is and that's where the main differentiation comes you know uh, the Zenfone the iPhone 6 is great it's a very premium device all metal construction iOS is a great operating system but the Zenfone 2 laser is a no slouch either and we've seen that in some of the aspects the Zenfone 2 laser actually trumps the iPhone 6 and I think that's more to do um, I mean it's, it's a significant uh, thing that the Zenfone 2 laser was released almost a year later than the iPhone 6 and the technology really advanced um, you know since then since last year we have the iPhone 6s now in fact the 6s was just uh, released in India yesterday last night so we'll have to see how this the iPhone 6s compares to some of these uh, very aggressively priced highly spec uh, Android phones that are great great budget phones great for everyone great for masses basically and that 
what a phone should aim at, right? So that's guys a quick comparison between the Zenfone 2 Laser and the iPhone 6. And many people <laughs> will curse me for that. How can you compare um, you know, an Android and that to such a budget device with uh, such a premium device like iPhone 6. But then guys, specs alone is not the case. You have to see the value for money. Maybe in some, maybe in premiumness, the iPhone 6 um, is ahead of the Zenfone 2 Laser. But at the end of the day, you have to see the ROI. You have to see whether a device you're buying is um, good value for money. And in that department, the Zenfone 2 Laser wins hands down. Thank you.